People, today we're taking an early look at WWE 2K23 My Rise. There hasn't been too much talk about this mode uh, up until now, but 2K did fly myself and a bunch of other creators out to 2K Community Day to play 2K23 early. And uh, I, of course, had to spend some time in the My Rise mode, so let's talk about it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've got some pretty sweet content coming down the pipeline for 2K23. So, My Rise this year uh, gives you the option for two different stories, the Legacy and the lock. There will be some minor spoilers or whatever here. I only played like an hour of each story, so it won't be anything too crazy. But the legacy involves following in the footsteps of your auntie, auntie, whatever, who is a WWE legend and Hall of Famer, hence legacy. So this is essentially your women's My Rise story. And uh, the lock, the lock says, no, you damn wrong. The lock is uh, your men's My Rise and revolves around you you know, being touted as the next big thing, future world champion, etc. But are you a lock to live up to all the hype? The legacy opens up with a uh, Attitude Era cutscene, which I thought was pretty cool, featuring uh, your aunt Justine. You got Stone Cold in the back. What? Triple H and Stephanie are there. John Cena, the prototypes. This is going back a good 20 years here. And the first match of the mode is a women's championship match against Molly Holly. In match objectives are back. You know, in order to advance the story, you got to complete the objectives, etc., etc. Pretty self-explanatory. So, again, slight spoiler here, but you do end up winning the Women's Championship in that first match. Uh, I was expecting some sort of schmoz or something like that. But you then come to find out that you're actually watching the match on TV from the point of view of your My Rise character. Uh, and you have a little conversation with your hot aunt. Watching my first title win again. After you topped it up so much on your podcast this week, how can I not? Don't get me wrong. It's a fantastic match. I just figured you had it memorized by now. Sure, but it's a tradition at this point. Is it my favorite aunt? Only aunt. Watch her most epic victories. And now also stress about what I have to live up to in my debut at Survivor Series tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing? Oh, nothing. Just that if I didn't know better, I'd say you were nervous, which is super hilarious. Because I know that I didn't teach my favorite niece. Only niece. To be nervous about getting in the ring and doing what she does best. Yeah. Especially not when she's been trained by one of the biggest legends in the business. If I'm being honest, there's really no comparison. <laughs> you really do manage to turn everything into a compliment about yourself, don't you? Of course I do. I'm a six-time women's champion. Would have been 10 if my career hadn't been cut short by injury. I get it. A main eventer and Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who had the top merch sales in the 2003 fiscal year. Okay, you've made your point. I should get ready for tomorrow. That's my girl. Then, of course, comes time to create your character. For the sake of time, I just went ahead and messed around with some of the face settings. Hey, girl, how you doing? By the way, this year, you can actually import your pre-made character. Thank God uh, that feature had been missing for a couple years, but it's back. I don't know why they like to do that, but they do that. But it's back, so it's okay. Uh, once that's finished, you're going to arrive backstage for the first of many long talking cutscenes. Don't worry about it. No one knows who you are. Yet. No one knows who you are yet. Tom. Justine. And LJ, too? It's so good to see you both. Same here, Tom. Wait, do you even still go by LJ? Man, it was always a hoot and a half having you backstage when you were a kid, dressing up in Justine's gear, being her shadow, her little Justine. But suppose you're not eight anymore, huh? It's fine. But I am trying to get known on my own here. I've heard. Good thing you're debuting tonight. The secret's pretty much out backstage. A few more hours and it'd be out to the entire WWE universe. You doing something here tonight too, Justine? Nope, just here to support my niece's big moment. Come on. Surely you'll find some way to steal the spotlight. <sighs> Molly. Justine. Wow, I I've got a... I, I better go check on the, uh, yeah, I got no good reason, but I'm going to leave now. I heard you were working backstage these days. Beat sitting at home, talking to the internet. It's called a podcast, and it's very popular. But I'm not here to resurrect old rivalries. Would you really call it a rivalry if there's a clear conclusion and undisputed winner? 
I was actually here to greet our newest WWE superstar. Wish her luck. She doesn't need luck. And let her know that I'll be working with her to get her ready for her Survivor Series debut this evening. Is that all right? No, that's great. I'm so excited to be here representing Team SmackDown. Great, get settled and then let's talk. Justine. Please don't make things more difficult for me on my first day. Besides, you two were friends once. Sorry, you're right. It's just, well, you know what she did. It might be ancient history and there's no reason for her to mess with you, but be careful with Molly, okay? I'm gonna go say hello to people. You all right? I'm all right. I'm ready. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I love you, kid. You'll do great. Riveting. Now, <laughs> on top of that, uh, the My Rise Hub did change a little bit. You now have must play stories, which you obviously need to complete to advance through the mode, uh, optional stories, and challenge matches. So if you want to go through the main path story quickly, you only need to focus on the must play stories. But it is recommended to try and play all types of stories as they present new pathways and rewards that you wouldn't otherwise get. Of course, no My Rise is complete without your fictional cast of characters like Ava Moreno. Hi, I'm LJ, little Justine. Yeah, I overheard. Oh, precious. Yeah, I was actually going to say I recognize you from NXT 2.0. Ava Moreno, right? You had some great matches with Cora Jade. I didn't realize you had gotten drafted to SmackDown. Guess your famous WWE legend aunt hasn't been able to get you up to speed on everything. Honestly, we've been pretty busy prepping for my debut. I'm a little out of the loop on everything else. Who's your match with tonight? I don't have a match on the show tonight. Not all of us are able to skip the line, LJ. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Molly Holly, though, is definitely going to be nicer to me than Sorry Ava, I wasn't right? able to check in with you sooner. It's always nuts backstage before a major show. And I lost a full 20 minutes to Happy Corbin, who wanted to practice a stand-up routine on me. Luckily, Zia Lee overheard and protected me from his bad jokes. How are you doing? Feeling good about tonight? Honestly, I'm ready. I've trained my whole life for this. All right. Let's take that confidence earned or not, and channel it into a great debut. For what it's worth, despite my history with your aunt, it really is my goal to help you succeed here. You guys have some history, huh? That's a conversation for another day. Stick around here long enough and you'll have history with everyone. Alliances, rivalries, heck, we even have our fair share of weddings. Although those rarely seem to work out. But let's talk about your debut. I've got your custom gear ready. Custom gear? What do you mean? Honestly, I get it. I wouldn't want to debut in it either. No, I mean I have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Not sure how this didn't get to you, but WWE management asked that you debut in a look that honors Justine's legacy. So they've made gear inspired by what your aunt wore when she won her first championship. Not that that specific match would be the moment I'd choose to commemorate. Justine got lucky. But I brought my own gear. I designed it myself. Besides, I'm not sure if I want to use my aunt's image to establish my own. I want to make my own mark. Listen, despite my personal feelings, it never hurts to get a rub from a WWE legend. It's also probably not wise to go against management on day one but I know it's important to stand on your own two feet around here. Ultimately, the decision is yours. What do you want to do? Remember when I mentioned these long talking cutscenes? Anyway, <laughs> once you get to certain points in the story, uh, it'll let you know that an action that you're about to take will set you on a specific path. So these decisions are going to be pretty important to your overall story. Business, however, is about to pick up big style because it's time to battle Team Raw, which consists of Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, and Bailey while you make your main roster debut as part of Team SmackDown with Liv and Bianca. But wait, then what happens? Needs to be resourceful. Find an opening. Boom! Kick to the midsection. She certainly has the confidence of her aunt. Looks like she's setting up for the Justine Jammer. She's putting her own mark 
Look out an old classic. Not if Charlotte Flair has anything to say about it. You only have one chance to make a first impression, and this one might include a hurt ankle. And Rhea's taking advantage. Riptide! Covered by Ripley! Rhea got her. With the elimination, Team Raw now has the advantage. What a letdown for the Blue Squad. She definitely didn't expect to be out so early in this match. The top rope mishap and apparent ankle injury played a key role in that. And it looks like Charlotte Flair is determined to add insult to injury. Wait a minute. Hall of Famer Justine is here. We haven't seen Justine in a WWE arena for over a decade. One thing is clear, the WWE Universe is thrilled to see this venerated six-time women's champion here tonight in any circumstance. And it looks like Justine is just as thrilled to see them. Things might not have turned out how she wanted for her niece, but she's loving this crowd. I'm just hoping that Justine can get her niece on the right track after this debut. She certainly needs some guidance. Oof, big time injury in your debut match. That is very, very unfortunate. And from there, it's about climbing your way back up, overcoming that adversity, trying to live up to the legacy of your hot aunt and find out if you got what it takes. So that's what the legacy is looking like in WW2K23. But what about the lock we got to touch on real quick? Well, the lock says you start off on WWE Raw and your debut is about to be. Great. He can't miss. He's the main event. He's a lock. 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 I am the lock. I am so close to having this title renamed in my honor. Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. Is this finally happening? We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of The Lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. The Lock has arrived on Raw. And apparently the Lock is Sammy's mystery challenger. Well, Sammy's big ideas about rechristening his titles, the Sammy Continental Championship could be changing quickly. We've heard the lock is a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, and if you ask me, he looks like he fits right in here in WWE. Well, I agree. He's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against a veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight. So I'd actually give the advantage to the lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Can the lock live up to all the hype? We're about to find out. Superstar, how he was the next big thing, a future Come world on. champion, and so far I have every reason to believe those are true statements. I'm just glad we won't have to see the Sammy Continental Championship. Me too, Byron. I think we all owe the lock a thank you for that. Hold up, Sammy Zayn from behind. Well, apparently this isn't over. The lock ducks and he nails him. Sammy goes head first into the side of the safe. 
Wait, what's he doing? I think the lock's going to lock up Sammy. Yes, do it. <laughs> Into the safe. We might never have to see Sammy again. Okay. Thank you. Hey, hey. Now what? He's going to send Sammy for a ride. Stop, stop, that's enough. And the safe goes crashing down with Sammy inside. This night just keeps getting better. Once again, your new intercontinental champion. You appear in a damn safe thing. You beat Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental title. That's a crazy, crazy way to introduce yourself. So obviously the next there logical step is. from there is to have a Ready long talking cutscene again. Yeah, can't wait to get out there. Good. We can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh, talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Cat, right? Yep, Cat with a K. K A T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on a wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of cat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion. The Lock. Whoop whoop. Sorry. Fly on a wall. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole The Lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah. But that's not how the WWE Universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things, and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity, new gear. <laughs> They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> Is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe. But things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Guess so. I gotta run. But I promise, this is gonna be fine. Just trust the process, and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the lock. We good here, or...? Yep. Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for ten years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. We probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. champion, two-time intercontinental champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm you, but if 
you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Luck. Call me Champ. Okay, Champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the raw welcoming committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. Well, look at that. Story complete. We are cooking now. From there, it's up to you to prove that you belong with the big dogs in WWE and show that, you know, you truly are the lock. That's your first look at WW2K23 My Rise. Uh, my full My Rise series featuring Chris Danger will, of course, start once the game releases. Back at it again. But until then, let me know what you think about My Rise so far. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss any WW2K23 content. I'll see you guys soon. Peace!